Hey, I'm just trying to do uh, a little bit of work on my PLO game, so making a video for all you guys that are a 2 plus 2. Small stakes PLO farm, in fact. Anyway, um, I am a mainly no limit hold'em player, trying to make the transition, and so far in my attempt, I've been getting killed to the form of probably more than 5k, just at 50 cent a dollar and a little bit of 1-2 cap. So I'm going to be making this video. Uh, hopefully you guys can find the fundamental errors that I must be doing and leave some comments. Hopefully you fall that too, but unlikely. So i got a blocker to the 8. The only thing I'm scared of is a king deuce, and I'm going to be putting the turn. So here, if he jams, I think I'm just going to make a crying call, and hope I'm not beat. Well, there's a good chance I'm beat, but hope to suck out, I guess I should say. So, at the moment in the cap game, I am opening to two different bet sizes uh, a min raise and a 2.5x and I'm gonna check I was thinking actually about doing something a little bit different in that I was just gonna make a small-ish bet uh, just in case he has aces and it protects me from um, him realizing he has the best hand on the river and then, uh, you know, betting close to full pot and charging me a lot more. I'm not sure if that, if that would be a better play or not. Because it does allow me to potentially get uh, check raised to get a check raise bluff of you know top pair top kicker on the turn which is good you know a large majority of the time okay so also I should note uh free bets small rundowns just to start getting some reads on this guy here he just does a memory so I think this is good enough to free exit Though I'm not positive. I'm just going to check here. Uh, try to play some puck control. If he bets big, I am... Actually, I'm probably going to follow to any decent size bet at this point. Me, yeah. I'm not even sure if my hand is a free bet. He probably should have flat in fact. So he's free betting 33% so far. Small sample size, 8 hands, but if you decide to free bet again, I think I'm just going to go with the kings. I got a suited ace as well, so that reduces the permutations of aces. And also gives me not flush outs, which is nice. Uh, here, just playing for the set mining, really. Not that fantastic a hand. So, yeah, this is, I'm not sure if this is an open or not. Considering his large free bet percentage, obviously, I don't think I can call a free bet that. Um, yeah, I think that's fine just to fly in here. Don't think he's going to have that jack 9 or even 6 9 that often if he checks back. So here yeah, I'm trying to put him on something. I'm putting him on 6 9 straight and flush draws. 6 9 is the only hand that I misvalue from. 
Um, so I'm checking here to induce a bet. Obviously, never think about folding. My question is, if he bets here, should I be raising? The majority of the time, I think he just has a straight draw or a flush draw when he bets. Um, yeah, 6 nine's the only thing I'm really worried about missing value from. And we'll see. Yeah, that's what he had. Fuck my life. So maybe that was a bet. Um, I did think that 6 9 was actually a significant part of his range. Um... So, I think he's probably going to be c calling a bet. I can't really see him folding that much. Yeah, it is interesting. I'm going to bet and call a ship if that's how he decide to play. That's kind of weird. Uh, obviously, I can't call here. I don't even have enough to be a bluff catcher. This is a pretty fucking weird line. I'm guessing he had something like an ace jack, you know, seven free, some shit like that. Which, yeah, if he did have something. Hard to say, um, but yeah, Ace Free is the only nutted hand that I can really put him on. <laughs> so actually, after this, just as an exercise, I am going to crunch in the numbers on this hand to see if the bet call is a profitable play um, or if I should have been betting smaller to allow myself to call or I should have been putting or checking behind I'm not a hundred percent sure so I am gonna have a look over it later anyway uh, if you can post some comments uh, suggestions of what I should be thinking about, you know, maybe, you know, what I should be doing differently, how I should be value betting, that kind of stuff. Be great to get some feedback. Uh, adios. Bye.